All of a sudden, Chris Martin's fucking emailing me. I was like, what does he fucking want? So I go, what's him, what he's after? What the fuck's he after? And then I heard he was doing this benefit gig and that. And then he goes, would you, would you do Live Forever? I was going, yeah, I'll do that, man, let's do it. It's my time. The first thing he said was, you know, I want to perform, it doesn't matter where we are. So we had to fly from Germany the same day to make it happen. So we did that, got back, met Chris and a guitarist in the toilet, and we went through Live Forever. And then we did it. Liam's coming on. Maybe I have upset him in the past and that, but I don't mean it. I actually think Coldplay have got a few good tunes, you know what I mean? Listen, and I apologise, I did say, look, I'm sorry for fucking, for digging these out over the years. And he went, no, 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 we love it, man, carry on. So they enjoy it, man. One love, I think, if you were a young pop fan and you're looking around at all these people, everybody's got sparkle all over them and wigs on. Even Coldplay were dressed like the Tweedies. They have, like, lightening up the pants and brightly coloured trainers on and all that. Suddenly, Liam just turned up in a parka, albeit an orange one, and just stands there and sings. It's got to be refreshing, even if you're 14. 